currently, these makeup products are the talk of the town in Nigeria and they claim to do what that's so. Yeah. What would it profit? So I was able to put in everything that I got from the makeup pair in this bag. I got everything from foundation to concealer. So yeah, let's try them out. So first thing that I got is this uh, makeup film. Apparently, you are supposed to put it at the back of your hand so that you don't get your hands stained with makeup. It comes up like this. I think you put it at the back of your hand. Like so. Then now take off this other film. So this is how it is. So tell me why I thought I got a face primer. But apparently, it was a setting spray. I'm just going to use it my regular face primer. You should have seen this quite often. I am done with um, prepping my skin for my foundation or for my base. I just color corrected. I'll be using this foundation in this shade. So this is the B Beauty Second to Skin Second Skin Foundation, and I took I bought the shade six in Cameroon. I hope it's my shade. <laughs> okay, this is how it looks. This is giving me a nice brilliant spray foundation. Like it's literally how photo of that foundation is. But it's okay. It looks darker than my skin. But don't worry. So I'm taking a dense brush, just warming up the products at the back of my hand, and then applying it. Okay. Not bad. So I also got a makeup setting spray. I took the rose one. It said it's an oil control. So I don't think this is a Nigerian brand because it's called Kiss. I've not heard of them. But I just know them for setting sprays. So I'm not sure if it's a Nigerian brand, but then I bought it with the makeup face, so why not try it? Concealers, I got two concealers. I got one from Zikel Cosmetics and the other one, Blossom. I'll start with the Blossom one first, just to bring in some warmth to my face. Foundation played me and dried up too fast, so let's see if we can blend this. I'm going to use this flat um, powder for and um, just blending everything. Just to add more brightness to my face, I'll be using the lighter shade of the Zikil Cosmetics Concealer and just applying that. I didn't get any dark shade to contour my face, like concealer to contour, because I didn't get I just forgot. So I'm just going to do my face. So <laughs> I know I said I was just going to do my contour and come back. But then Nigeria happened to me and I decided to set my face so that my makeup doesn't start melting. I had to set my face and I used the mirror setting powder in ginger. I got this, I think earlier this year and this powder is literally my go-to. I'm done with my foundation so let's take this film out and it literally just comes up okay, like this. 
that is how it comes in. I like this. But anyway, I have three brow products that I will want to try out. First one is this brow styling cream. I'm going to use that to brush my brows in place. Set it with literally nothing on my powder puff brush. I also got this Blossom um, eye pencil. I haven't used this type of eye pencil in a very long while. I have been because I know that I got a couple from Mismetics and Colourpop. I don't like this eye pencil is that I feel it doesn't show up on my skin and it has broken. Let's try it So I'm just using my good old um, Davis pencil just to picking out the lines and then I'm going to conceal my eye and I'll be back. I know I look a little bit cray cray but I've done my brows and I have also um, prepped my eye lids. I set it with the Mirac setting powder. For today's eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using this Juvia Space eyeshadow palette. It's called the Amazon. I literally haven't opened it yet. This is how it looks like. I don't know what look I'm going for today though I know that I probably need to just keep it really simple. First of all, I'm going to take the shade panel and just blend that into my crease. I take a little and just brush around the eyebrow bone because the concealer that I used is like too bright. So you want to tone it down a bit so you can just use nothing on the brush and just go a bit higher above the brows. I'll be taking the darker shade, it's called Mino. It's like a dark brown. I'm just going to pack it in here. I think I'll just do a like brown pop crease. I'm just putting this in the outer corners while blending it into my crease. Be sure to go a bit higher if you have um, eye space like mine. Using that first crease brush, you just blend in the edges. So I'm going to be packing in and Avushu something just to create that like false or um, cut piece. I also got an eyeliner, Polabi. It came with an angle brush. Ooh. Really pretty. I don't want to do ring liner, so I'm just going to blend out the edges into that brown. I got the Zikel Cosmetics mascara. And I don't know how to do the bottom lashes, so I'm not going to stress so, myself. I got Miss Metix lashes again. There's always a lash for you in your set. So that is why I got, that is why I'm always getting the set lashes instead of uh, the strip ones, like that is why I mostly get your lashes. I'll be making use of this Beauty by AD highlighting powder in Village. I'm just going to use this fixing spray or setting spray just to take away all the powder on my face and I'm going to put on my fan to like dry it up. I didn't get a lot of lip products. I actually just bought two lip glosses from Blossom. Just a clear lip gloss and the other one is called Blush. And I also got this lip gloss. I think this was like 1000. I got it from Bratz Cosmetics. Just going to use my lips eye pencil just to line my lips. So I've lined my lips. I'm thinking maybe I should put like a base on my lip I apply the lip gloss. Because I don't know how the lip gloss looks, but maybe we just apply the lip gloss like that. We just need to put on the lip gloss. Okay. Take the colored one and take the red ish one on it and just pop it on it. So, for the star of the makeup, the most reason why I went to the makeup fair was to get this um, sweat look by FBH Cosmetics. I got influenced by 
an influencer. Her name is Vanessa, and it literally says it keeps your makeup in check. Check it. This was, I think, like 10,000 euro, like 9,000 euro. I can't remember. But then, let's go. I got this makeup product maybe like some weeks back during the Abuja makeup fair here in Nigeria and I bought this product mainly because of the hype it's like it was always on my Instagram page and then I got some other random ones just to try out the brands however this is what we are able to achieve with most of the products except the eyes it's not a Nigerian brand but every other thing was Nigerian made Nigerian owned brand so that is it guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up share subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye